Hi guys, and welcome to Studio One with me, Gregor. So today is all about your MIDI controllers and keyboards and how to get them connected in Studio One. It's incredibly easy, and I'm going to walk you through each of the steps right now. To start, connect your MIDI device to your computer. Depending on what kind of device you're connecting, you're probably going to need either a MIDI or a USB cable. These days, the most common connection for sending and receiving MIDI data is USB but the good old 5-pin MIDI connector from the early 80s is still very popular. If you're using the latter, make sure that you also have an audio interface that comes with a built-in MIDI interface or one of those handy little MIDI to USB converters. An even cheaper alternative would be one of these cables here that have MIDI on one end and USB on the other. Now that your device is connected, let's switch to Studio One. From the Start page, head to the Configure External Devices menu and then click on Add. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up a new keyboard and a new control surface device. We're going to discuss how to set up external instruments in my next tutorial because that topic needs a little bit more context. I'm going to add a link to this video in the description below, so make sure to check that one out as well if you're interested. Okay, so let's look at how to add a new keyboard first. You want to choose this option if you're setting up a MIDI keyboard with or without control parameters. A great example would be your MIDI master keyboard, which usually resides at an easily reachable spot and acts as the central keyboard input in your studio. Before you add a new keyboard device though, make sure that your MIDI keyboard isn't already listed on the left for faster setup. If it's not, then proceed by simply filling in the manufacturer and the device name. Next, click on the drop-down menu where it says Receive From and specify the USB or MIDI port to which you've connected your keyboard. You do not need to fill in the send to field here, just leave that blank. You can now specify whether or not you want this MIDI keyboard to be the default instrument input, meaning that whenever you add a new instrument track, it will always be assigned to this keyboard. In Studio One 5, you can also enable MPE for your device, which is great if you're using a compatible keyboard controller, such as the Roly Seaboard. Okay, so that's it for keyboard controllers. Now let me show you how to set up a new control surface, because it's so similar. You want to set up a new control surface whenever you have a controller without keys that you want to use to control or automate parameters in Studio One. Aside from not showing up in your instrument input list, this device type works very similarly to the keyboard device we just looked at. So once again, click on Add. Make sure that the controller you have is not already listed on the left for easier setup. And then simply fill in the manufacturer name, device name, fill in the receive from, not the send to section. And that's pretty much it, really. Okay, great, everything's set up now. So what's next? Well, let's assume that we've set up a new MIDI keyboard first. In that case, we can simply record and play notes now from it straight away by dragging and dropping an instrument from Studio One's browser. Just like that. When it comes to assigning your encoders, faders and buttons, that's the exact same procedure for keyboards as well as controllers. So follow along. We head to the external device tab on the left of Studio One's console and then click MIDI Learn. Next, simply touch the controls that you want to assign on your controller. Let's say, for example, that I want to start my recordings from the record button on my keyboard. So I press the record button on my MIDI controller, then right click it and choose assign command. Now I search for the name of the command that I want to assign. So in my case, that would be transport record. And here it is. Once I set this up, these settings are remembered globally across all of my songs. If I want to assign variable parameters, let's say the cutoff on my Mai Tai synthesizer, that's incredibly easy to do also. I move the parameter that I want to assign, then move the desired control on my MIDI controller, and then click on the triangle icon in the parameter control window at the top left. And they're assigned. We can access it even faster by clicking on the gear wheel symbol found in any instrument or plugin. 